For two days I could not stop crying. My Lord Jesus was dead, crucified. His disciples all scattered to hide. I felt so alone. In the darkness, I kept crying out, Where do I go now? What do I do? I knew where they had buried him. And suddenly a thought came, Had they even bothered to wrap his body? To anoint him? Oh, he deserves a proper burial. I had the spices, so I decided to go. After days of feeling helpless, it was a relief to have something to do, even if it was to anoint his dead body. Every knock at the door made us all jump. We only opened it if we heard a familiar voice on the other side. Shut it quickly, I ordered them, lock it. And I always made sure. I thought it was a bad idea, all of us gathering together. They would find us now. I mean, surely they would come for us. Was I paranoid? <laughs> Absolutely. I had seen them beat him. And I knew they would come for me too, eventually. Well, I wasn't with the others. I couldn't stand being in that house, with everyone grieving and miserable and afraid. They just kept saying, he just stood there and let them arrest him. I couldn't believe it at first. I'd seen Jesus heal people, cast out demons with my own eyes, and yet he just let the Romans crucify him? Why? didn't make any sense. It was still dark when I ventured out with the spices. I did not want to be seen. I knew the guards were posted at the tomb, but I thought maybe they would be kind and roll the stone away so I could anoint him. That was wishful thinking, I know. The people who had murdered him be kind? It was more likely they would arrest me. But this one thought kept driving me on. He deserves a proper burial. I've got to try. So I just kept walking. I had denied him. God, forgive me. I denied him. I was afraid. If they found me, I'd deny him again. I wanted to crawl in the deepest, darkest hole I could find and never come out. If I died there, I died there. It's, it's what I deserved. I'd never been so confused in my whole life. So many questions. How could Jesus do this? It was like he abandoned us. I mean, I'd given up everything to follow him. Everything. And now he was dead? Was it all a lie? Nobody had any answers. I had no idea what to expect when I got to the tomb. I spent the whole walk there planning every possible scenario. But when I turned the corner and saw, I had not imagined this. The tomb was empty? What? Mary had to repeat herself several times before I believed her. And even then, John and I had to see for ourselves. We ran to the tomb. And it, it was true. He wasn't there. The, the linens were there, lying there on the stone, empty. Even the cloth for his face lay there, neatly folded. Even after seeing all of this, I, I couldn't understand it. How had he been taken? 
with John. John believed something else. Alive? He came back and everyone saw him but me? I'd seen Jesus perform miracles, yes, but this? Rising from the dead after he'd been crucified? I can't believe it. I told them I won't believe it. It was like I was trapped in a nightmare that would never end. I cried out, he's gone? Who's taken him? They've taken away the body of my Lord and I don't know where he is. Where is he? All day long I was afraid. Was this some trick to draw us out? Or could John be right? That night we gathered the others together to tell them what we'd seen. <laughs> they didn't know what to think either. I told them, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and stick my fingers where the nail had been, stick my hand into his side, I will not believe. I begged the gardener, sir, if you've taken him, please tell me where you've put him. I must anoint him. Suddenly, uh, another presence was in the room. It was like someone had come in even after I had locked the door. Then I heard a voice behind me. The gardener turned to me and said, Mary. Thomas. Peter. He knew my name. Instantly I knew it was Jesus. As soon as I saw him, everything changed. I touched his hands and his feet and I believed. I believed. I believed. He was alive. He really was alive. He's alive. He is alive. My sorrow turned into joy in his very presence. My fear was no match for his love. I no longer doubted in my Lord and my God. So, I share these truths with you today so that you may believe that Jesus the Christ is the Son of God. He is the risen Savior with love and peace and forgiveness for everyone who comes to Him. By believing in Him, you too can find life in His name. Jesus is alive. He is alive. He is alive.